Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about transpiration. Are you ready? Let's begin! Transpiration is like sweating for plants. Just like we sweat to cool down our bodies, plants sweat to release water and stay cool. They do this through tiny openings called stomata on their leaves. Now imagine a hot sunny day. The plant's leaves are like its skin. And when it gets too hot, it takes in water from the ground through its roots. To stay cool, the plant opens its stomata. Stomata are like tiny windows on the plant's leaves. When they open, water vapor comes out, just like when we breathe out. As this water vapor escapes from the plant's leaves, it rises into the air. This process is called transpiration. Let's try a little experiment. Step 1. Place a leafy branch or a small plant inside a plastic bag. Step 2. Seal the bag around the stem with a rubber band creating a small greenhouse effect. Step 3. Leave the setup in a sunny spot and observe it over a few hours. What do you think will happen inside a bag? When you check back later, you should see water droplets or condensation inside a bag. This is like the plant sweating or transpiring. So we've learned that transpiration is the process by which plants release water vapor through their leaves to cool themselves down. But it's not just about keeping cool. Transpiration also helps plants take up nutrients from the soil and move them to different parts of the plant. Transpiration is an important part of the water cycle too. The water vapor released by the plants rises into the air, where it can eventually form clouds and lead to rainfall. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about transpiration today. Take care now, bye bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like, that will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!